All right, so um, I had actually taken a dinner break because my hands were starting to get kind of shaky. So hopefully I can finish this. And I really only have kind of a loose plan for it because uh, I really don't use color pencils a whole lot. So, you know, I'm sort of learning as I go along. I use them a bit in undergrad, but not for anything all that original. Going over that area, I had blended with the blender pen. I pretty much penciled right over where I was going to draw that bow. Now I gotta find another place. That's the problem with doing it with yellow. I totally lost track of it. So I don't really have any sort of inside knowledge when it comes to these sort of blind box subscription services, but maybe one of you guys do. When they're filling the boxes, um, is there anybody who, um, like when they're purchasing the supplies, is it just like a bulk order or do they buy like with, with something in mind? <laughs> because basically I'm thinking these are some these colors are actually kind of difficult to use together or maybe I'm just brain dead it's been kind of a long day and it sort of seems like they just grabbed a handful especially since I'm missing that eraser it definitely makes me think that somebody just grabbed and filled she looks a lot more like a dog than a llama now okay if things get kind of weird that's fine
bunny alien thing now. I am finding these to be kind of difficult to use though. I feel like I have to press kind of hard to get them to make a dark enough mark. And they aren't as pigmented as the uh, Derwent Color Soft pencils. But I'm also not really a color pencil sort of artist. So maybe I just don't have a clue. I do find that they hurt my hands very quickly though. I tend to have kind of a, a overly tight grip. So that it could definitely be a contributing factor, but it's also why I don't really like using colored pencils very much. In fact, most of what I use colored pencils for is figure studies, and I pretty much just use uh, Prismacolors for those. It's a weird mama girl. Oh, see? That's where it said to make sure you you clean your pen because I didn't and it picked up some of that pink and I thought it wasn't going to because it didn't really seem like it had. It's probably picking up some of that butter yellow too that I'd use to sketch my, uh, do my initial sketch. I'm sure those of you who are familiar with color pencils are shaking your heads and cringing. I apologize. If you do have any tips or hints for using these lovely, they are lovely color pencils, I'm just having a really hard time using them. Uh, I would appreciate hearing them because I feel kind of lost. And I'd always meant to, to like revisit, because the way I'd been taught involves um, building up layers and then spraying it with spray fixative and then putting another layer on top of it and spraying it with spray fixative. I'm also trying to, to try out each of the pencils, even if it's only a little bit. I guess I could have done an Undertale fan art with this, now that I think about it. instead of a weird llama thing. So that yellow I had used to sketch this with is definitely showing up. Like it's not, you can't really cover it. And I had tried to sketch lightly. 
I guess not lightly enough. It's like a llama and a rabbit had a kid. I do have a larger set of Tombow uh, Ur Urujitin, uh color pencils, so don't please don't think this is a full review. This is just the the sketch box review challenge. Um, I'll be revisiting these color pencils a little bit later on, preferably after uh, I learn or remember how to use color pencils. And I'll see if I can't come up with something a little bit better during the month than this. Alright, so that is my sketch box illustration for February so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found these reviews helpful. Um, if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like, uh, maybe left a comment. Consider contacting Sketchbox on my behalf and showing them my wonderful work. Um, and shared it with your friends. If you enjoy videos like this, please check out last month, January's Sketchbox versus Art Snacks review. Um, and please keep watching, or I'm sorry, keep watching this channel for my February art snacks uh, challenge. So I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.